renewable fuel standard is a tremendously important policy uh, for the ethanol industry because it creates a, a market for 36 billion gallons of renewable fuels. And policy requires that biofuels reduce greenhouse gas emissions relative to gasoline. And so the only way we know how much a fuel reduces greenhouse gases relative to gasoline is to measure all the emissions that are associated with the production and use of that fuel. Where the EPA's analysis gets very uncertain is they are also including emissions from indirect land use change. And what they mean by indirect land use change is the, the concept that if a farmer in uh, Iowa, for instance, uh, decides to plant uh, an additional acre of corn over what he normally would have planted uh, in response to this biofuels policy, that the crop that was displaced uh, by, by him planting that extra acre of corn has to be made up somewhere else in the world. And the theory is that uh, in, in some cases, you know, rainforest may be cut down or, or native grasslands may be brought into cultivation to make up for that lost production in the United States. And the part that we're most concerned about is this inclusion of, of indirect uh, emissions that are assumed to occur from, from land use changes that could occur halfway around the world, uh, you know, over which uh, our industry has absolutely no control. The problem in doing that analysis is there are so many factors that drive a farmer's decision in Iowa or Africa or Brazil to bring new land into production or, or to cultivate a certain crop. And that decision, that very complex decision-making process just can't be replicated um, through economic modeling.